Longer ago than you can imagine, the Third Dynasty, founded by Djoser, ruled Egypt after 2670 BC. This dynasty is known as the first to construct with stone bricks, and for its founder ending a seven-year famine, but after a few kings. Its last king was Uni. Archaeology suggests he was a competent king, but the lack of contemporary records suggests they were destroyed by Snefero, who probably secured the throne by marrying Huni's daughter. Snefero was born at the fringes of Upper Egypt and worked his way into the nobility of Memphis. In his reign, he secured Egyptian access to the resources of Sinai, especially turquoise, and he also placed his relatives into the highest places of power, appointing his son, Khufu, as vizier. One of his grandest achievements was the assembling of a great army that raided extensively throughout Nubia in the south, and throughout his reign, he commissioned the construction of three pyramids. Which is why historians consider Snefero the start of the Old Kingdom of Egypt. It's also worth noting that new technological innovations were developed to construct the pyramids. After his time in Nubia, he defeated the Tanahu Libyans in battle, and it was also during his reign that the first preserved list of gnomes or governors was made which shows how developed Egypt had become, and that the king held vast personal domains. He had a wide legacy for centuries to come.